What are you doing in your time of waiting? Prayer is about waiting. But so you wonder, what did they do in their time of waiting? What did Joseph do in his time of waiting? 13 years, that's a long time. For us, we've been uh, at home for two to three months now. We're waiting. We're waiting for stores to open. We're waiting to get our haircuts. We're, going, we're waiting for restaurants uh, so we can finally dine out. We, we're waiting for parks and all these recreation areas. We're waiting to meet friends and loved ones and families. We're waiting to travel. We're waiting for our jobs back. We're waiting for our businesses, business to open we're waiting for the economy to go back to where it was. We're waiting for all these things, but what are you doing in your time of waiting? And God reminds us, wait patiently. Learn to wait patiently, not idly. I hope it's not a, it's not a bragging right for you to go back to work, go back to school. It's like, I finished all seasons of Game of Thrones I'm sure that's, I don't know if that's something to be proud of, but um, it's a great show. But what are you doing in your time of waiting? Hopefully, we accomplish patience. Hopefully, we accomplish stillness. Lord, as I was waiting, I improved upon myself. I learned to search my own thoughts, my own hearts, I learned to be still when things are chaotic. I learned to wait patiently. Ryan Holiday, in his book, Stillness, Stillness is the Key, says this. Stillness is what aims the archer's arrow. It inspires new ideas. It sharpens perspective and illuminates, illuminates connections. It slows the ball down so that we might hit it. It generates a vision, helps us resist the passions of the mob, makes space for gratitude and wonder. Stillness allows us to persevere, to succeed. It is a key that unlocks the insights of genius and allows us regular folks to understand them. But we have to wait. As an athlete waits, or the Olympics. What, I wonder what, what they're doing. doing. Are they just complaining of how unfair life is? If you're really driven and if you're really, your goal is to win the Olympics, what are you? I wonder what they're thinking. Life is just unfair. I was supposed to go to Tokyo this year, but now it's postponed to next year. Who knows if it'll still be open? Do they just complain and fuss about it? Or are they putting in the efforts and the time and the energy that they can, all that they can pour into while they are waiting? And it's the same thing for us, even in our own spiritual walk. Is it, it's a moment to be anti-fragile. I hope you can see that. Waiting is not something that makes us weak. Waiting is not something that's to look down upon. Waiting is actually a tool that God brings into our lives to accomplish stillness. And once we're still, we, become, we, we can become more and hopefully anti-fragile. 